What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720, and I am back with another video. Guys, if you haven't checked out my last two videos, I will leave them down below in the first comment down below. Listen, you're not going to miss this. If you're tired of the everyday mundane podcast from running the mill, trust me, the multiplayer podcast is for you. You have my man, my combative brother, K, K Mega. 405, Mr. Oklahoma himself, going at Porter Rock, going at MVP magazines. Then you had my man D the tech guy, Dean Batch. Uh he took on Porter like it was crazy as hell. Always. Sometimes I just mute the mic and be back there. Buck. And also I did a video about Nintendo quote unquote rumor specs for the Nintendo Switch. Uh that it will be using uh Maxwell architecture, not the Pascal. <clears throat> Supposed to be less powerful according to rumors inside sources than that of the the, the three-year-old PlayStation 4. Shall I digress? Uh, but later on today, like I said, I have a, a, another juicy um, Nintendo rumor. Um, I said, well, there's smoke, there's fire. I will be playing my man, the number one Nintendo fan in the world, my man, Obi-Wan plays. What is going on, everyone? We will be live streaming together today. Uh, I'll be doing the best out of 10 Street Fighter V and Mortal Kombat X. I'm going to whoop his ass with the nigga be cool stick. Um, <clears throat> but I want to get his thoughts. But anyway, I'm sorry. Before I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Guys, if you're one of the ones that like to pop shit in the comment section and have fun, I got the perfect website for you. Uh, um, BGSTpodcast.com. Go ahead and join the forums and have your fun. Also, too, like I said, I have the, the, the perfect Facebook group for you. Bang Bang Next Gen Gamers. That shit is crunking, get crunked up from sun up to sundown. I'm letting you know right now that is a fanboy console war Facebook group. Do not go in there with that peace talk. Talking about your multi console owner, pick a side. Either your Team Pony, Team Xbox, your Wii U Widow, even if you're a 15 year old kid with a bunch of acne in your face and you suffer from uh, scoliosis and you can no longer participate in the Boy Scouts. Of America it doesn't make and you game on PC, it doesn't matter. Go on there, choose your weapon and pick a side. Don't go on there to can we all just get along? Everything's above the waist. Don't talk about anyone's children. Keep that racist shit out of there. Go on there and have fun. It's a funny ass group. Right now they're getting on ISIS. Uh my man uh, my man Wolf, they call him ISIS Wolf and shit. They getting on Wolf. They were just getting on me. Uh funny as hell. Anybody can get it. Moving right along into today's video. It said reports Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has been canceled for the Wii U. Dum, 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 dum. So there are a lot of rumors making the rounds on the internet about the Nintendo Switch's power and the games that are announced for the console. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Wild is also confirmed for the upcoming console along with the Wii U. And now a new rumor has emerged that suggests the game has been canceled for the Wii U. <clears throat> This rumor comes from a Japanese blog site which claimed that due to difficulties in the development for the older system, um, the team has decided to cancel the Wii U version of the game. Also, digital stores such as Amazon, Best Buy and etc. have removed the Wii U version from the store and there has been massive cancellations of pre-orders. Given that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a massive game and Wii U's relatively old and outdated hardware, and, and the team might have faced some difficulty to develop such a big game for an outdated system. Hmm. Um, goes on to keep talking about this, you know, a whole bunch of... But, but let me say this. I don't have to keep reading more of the article. I'll leave the link down below if you'd like to read it yourself. I'm, I, I'll, I'll say this. Um, it sucks for... And you know I'm not the biggest fan of Nintendo. I don't like their policies. I don't like their outdated hardware. But they have some uh, some diehard fans that that who that who stuck through them through rain, through snow, through shit, and through hell, and they've been waiting. This is what the Wii U last hurrah, you know what I mean? And look, and for them to cancel the game or pull the plug on the game, I think that kind of sucks for them. You know what I mean? Uh, this is I don't really, I don't I don't, honestly I don't know when was the last game to come out on the Wii U. But people were looking forward to this game releasing in March. It was pushed back. You know what I mean? I, I, and in the end, uh, I understand if the, the console or whatever the case may be. I understand it is dated and it is anemic. But again, I blame you guys for... Well, not I won't blame you guys. A lot of you gamers put your foot down with Nintendo and, uh, 
and didn't go out and buy the Wii U. And I tell people, like, it's crazy as hell, the Wii U was not the 360 and the PS3 competition. The Wii U was the PS4 and the Xbox One competition. Shall I digress? Um, but the, like I said, Nintendo, <clears throat> with them refusing to quote unquote to compete or to, to change with times, they are in a really a bad space. You know what I mean? Just think about this. Nintendo showed up at E3 with one game. Legend of Zelda is here when you know Breath of the Legend of Zelda um, Breath of Wild. Wow. It showed up at E3 with one goddamn game. Could you imagine if that was Sony? Could you imagine if that was Microsoft? People like to put Nintendo in this special place. Like, oh, it's okay. They're just Nintendo. You guys, we have to stop dealing with them with white gloves. If not, they're never going to get better and conforming and get with the times. Now, people always like to say that, hey, Nintendo games are innovative, and I beg to differ. I would rather them put their innovation into the game and not into a gimmick that may or may not take off. You don't ever sacrifice the specs of your console to include a gimmick that the public may not want. Hence, you know, I'm an Xbox guy, but Microsoft dropped the ball when they sacrificed the power of the Xbox One to include the Kinect, and I love the fucking Kinect. You don't ever do that. Nintendo did the same thing <clears throat> with the Wii U and the tablet. The actual tablet uh, costs more than the actual console. Now Nintendo was going this whole thing, and you're gonna realize this: Nintendo was not marketing the Nintendo Switch as a handheld. They're not marketing it as the successor to the 3DS. This is their ninth generation offering, and rumors, and reports are coming out that it's, it's not going to be po more powerful or even on par with 2013 hardware. Do you see where I'm going with this? We're not going to, I'm not going to mention the Pro, and we're not going to mention the Scorpio. This is, they're releasing the console in 2017 that's not on par with, con with hardware that came out in 2013. You're going to be in for some pain. All right, he was, well, it's okay, as long as I can play my Zelda, you guys got to stop it with that shit there. You just had a console, the Wii U, that didn't get really any third-party support because of the outdated hardware. Not everyone can afford to own multiple consoles. But shall I digress? You know what I mean? I guarantee you this. I'm going to say this last thing. If Nintendo put out a console that was on par with the Pro, or, with, or even to say the Pro, you guys, you, you same the Nintendo uh, apologetics would be jumping up and down doing cartwheels out my, outside of my house. You know what I mean? But again, so when they market this, hit me up, my last thing. When they market this as a quote unquote a console, and you put it in the same spectrum when they do those digital foundries side by side well uh, yeah you, you know what i mean it's already and, and, and listen just know it's already not going to get a, a a big position i'm sorry a big portion of the quote unquote the major multi -plats. why because you look at games like the division you look like the new the, the new game is coming out uh for honor from ubisoft i can't wait to play always online you know what i mean this here you can take out it doesn't even have a, have an internet port but you have an always online game. How are you going to be able to take that and take that on the go? You, you understand what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But getting back to the Legend of Zelda, this really sucks for the Nintendo fans that who 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 stood by this, uh, by Nintendo and was waiting for this game to come out. And maybe you know they're going to wait to see what the switch. They made it feel like they got burned by the Wii U, feel like they got burned by the Wii, and they was going to wait and see how the switch takes off. But they had one last great game to play for their Nintendo, for the Wii U, and doesn't seem to be the case. What Nintendo should have did was just still put out the quote unquote the Wii U's version, and just put out a better version of the, uh, or maybe uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of Wild, uh, the remastered, uh, the Switch edition. And so you, you know what I mean? So you just don't leave those guys out there high and dry. Like I said, I don't know when the last goddamn game was released for the Wii U. You know, six months ago, like this is crazy. You know what I mean? And people look at me like I'm bugging, like I'm a little skeptic of Nintendo. Like I, I listen, you say one time shame on you, next time shame on me. Nintendo's last great console to me was the goddamn GameCube. You know what I mean? Great console, but again, their policies were kind of shitty. Like you know, gamers like the live stream and then all this type of stuff right there. And Nintendo again doesn't even allow their games to really be played on YouTube. And unless you get the proportion of the money, like that's crazy in itself. But um, I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections about um, about you know, 
Legend of Zelda being canceled for the week. This is pitch to a war. You waiting to get your hands on this game? I don't know. I, I, what it's going on? Like, come on, Nintendo. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Dr. Lewis 281. Have that seat. Dude, this is bananas. This is crazy. You know, this is sheer lunacy. You know what I mean? This is sheer lunacy, man. Uh, but anyway, this is your boy, Next Gen 720. Uh, I'm in here playing a little old school Dead Alive 5, man. I love my fighters, man. I don't want to say I don't play no game. I play my game all the damn time. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'll be stealth on the ass. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys want any, want any smoke in this DOA 5. I'm, 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 I'm giving out free smoke. I'm giving out free smoke in Mortal Kombat, Virtual Fighter 5, Street Fighter 5. I'm giving out free smoke. Uh, Obi Wan will get that work today, man. I'm gonna put these hands on his ass today, man. Look at that. Bang! Boop bop! Boop bop! Get, get up! <laughs> Come on, get up, get up! I'm about, to put, I'm about to put these hands on him. Look at that, look at that. Whoa! Come on, come on, come on, big man. That nigga hit hard, don't he? Boop, bop, boop. Oh, come on. Damn. 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 Try to slip that, but I missed it. Damn. Damn. Put that on. Get this work. Get, get that smoke. He thought he had me. Get, get some of this smoke. Get some of them. I'm giving out free smoke, man. Whoever wanted. But this is your boy, Next Gen 720, man. I'm out of here, man. Bang, bang. Ah.